Welcome to Jakarta Islamic Center. As a center for the study of Islamic civilization, the Jakarta Islamic Center fulfills a mission of portraying a modern and religious culture. At the same time, it erases the image of the Dark Age of the area in which it is being established. Many years before, the government of the city of Jakarta decided to create what became known as the Kramat Tunga Resocialization of Prostitution Zone or Lokres Kramtung, in what was then an area remote from any residential area. While allowing prostitution to be practiced there, the aim was also to provide opportunities to educate and equip prostitutes so that they could return to society. Over time, it became impossible to stop the area from growing to quickly become famous throughout Southeast Asia as the biggest snack center for sinners. Under growing pressure from religious and community leaders in the surrounding area, the city administration took the bold choice of closing the prostitution site. Once Lokres Kramtung was officially closed, the inspiration emerged to turn what had been a moral black earth into the white earth of the Jakarta Islamic Center. After a well-reasoned planning process, a plan emerged that was based on comparative studies with Islamic centers in Egypt, Iran, Britain and France. With the support and commitment of many parties, the 10.9 hectare area of land is now starting to display a new face. The area's dark image of the past is now gone and being replaced with a luminous and growing light. Center for Islamic Research and Development of Jakarta, or well known as Jakarta Islamic Center, a fish the existence has changed the prostitution zone to become Islamic Center, Minazulumat Ilan Nur, is expected to give a new image for the society, to give a peaceful religious and pious values for the people. Jakarta Islamic Center is expected to become the important point center of Indonesian and Southeast Asia Islamic civilization, which becomes new concentration region for Muslim awakening in the world, so that its existence in the capital of a country with the biggest Muslim population in the world could demonstrate its strategic role as modernization center toward establishing more Islamic order of life. The architectural design of the Jakarta Islamic Center is based on the traditional culture of the Batawi people, indigenous to Jakarta, with their strong Islamic influence. The center is being developed in line with a master plan based on three complexes. These are a mosque as the central built structure, occupying 2.2 hectares and complete with offices facilities for prayer and a 114 meter high tower that symbolizes the total number of sections or surah in the Islamic holy book, the Quran. A main prayer hall spans over 68 meters without a single column, the widest hall in Southeast Asia.
The second central construction of the centre is the training and education facility. Still being developed, the building will cover 7,500 square metres and will incorporate a wide range of facilities. Classrooms, seminar rooms, training rooms, an Islamic studies department, a gallery, library, auditorium, language and multimedia laboratory, a Sharia or Islamic banking laboratory, a production studio, offices and other supporting infrastructure. The third complex is a business centre composed of three units. Office space totalling 5,653 square metres, a convention hall of 4,582 square metres, a hotel of 11,217 square metres. The business centre is currently in the early stage of construction. The three complexes are all built facing the Qiblat, the direction of the Muslim holy site of Mecca, as a symbol of reaching the end of the road blessed by Almighty God. The creation of the Jakarta Islamic Center is based on a decree of the Governor of Jakarta, number 99 of 2003. This decree states that the center should be a non-government institution under the coordination of the Jakarta Provincial Government. Based on faith, devotion, prayer and the requirements of Islam, all those involved in the development and operation of the Jakarta Islamic Center have a strong commitment to professionalism, transparency and to maintain all activities of the center within the corridor of Sharia. With responsibility to Almighty God, to the government and the public, the center is dedicated in the spirit of openness. Concept of the IC establishment is to provide a facility of most benevolent function supported by the provincial government of Jakarta which is realized with the function or program of most administration education and training Social culture, Information and communication. And 
business. The completion of function owned by GIC supported with a monumental physical building is hoped to enable it to become a landmark of Jakarta as well as to become a prototype of Islamic Center in Indonesia. Hopefully, the strategic role of the IC network which covers regions such as Indonesia, Southeast Asia, even the whole world can realize Islamic community pride.